hello guys you're welcome back to my channel guys in today's video i am going to be showing you how i make my jollof rice i'm going to be introducing you to some special ingredients i use while making my jollof rice to give it that party flavor that smoky flavor you understand what i'm trying to say now so guys before we get started if you know at this point that you have not subscribed to my channel kindly 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 press that subscribe button give me a thumbs up on this video and um, install your notification bell you do not want to miss any of my amazing recipes and please remember that you can share my videos with anybody you can share with your family with your friends anybody that you feel can benefit from my recipes okay guys let us get right into this video some vegetable oil I have some scotch bonnet pepper also known as atarodo I have onions I have some tomatoes and the star of the dish our shrimp that has been washed in here I have some beef and the stock okay it's been seasoned already this is some beef and the stock if you don't know how to season your beef, you should check my previous videos. I have videos on how to season your meat properly. In here, I have some garlic powder, some seasoning cubes, I have salt, some curry powder, some ginger powder. You can use the fresh ones, but this is what I have at the moment. And then I'm um, introducing you to two very special ingredients I always use in my jollof rice. Here I have the tasty Tom jollof mix. This takes your jollof rice from like a 10 to a 100, okay? It gives it this really nice flavor, like party jollof flavor. So let me know in the comment section if you have used this in your jollof rice or if you will be trying it out. And then for the next one, I have my Amawanda Jollof Rice Spice. Guys, this has everything you need to make your Jollof Rice taste like party rice, okay? So let me know in the comment section if you have tried out this spice or if you'll be trying it out. So one important part of making this party jollof rice is washing your rice. I'm going to be washing my rice till the water becomes as clear as possible. So wash your rice as much as you can. I washed mine about 6 to 7 times or more. I, I wasn't really counting but just wash it till the water becomes as clear as possible. to be cooking my rice in the meat stock this is how i'm going to parboil my rice i'm going to cook it in the meat stock on medium to low heat and i'm going to allow it to cook till the water dries up while waiting for my rice to cook i am going to start seasoning my shrimp allow this to sit for about 10 to 15 minutes just to like marinate a bit
add in some nutmeg powder i love nutmeg flavor in my jollof rice it is completely optional I'm going to allow this to cook on low heat. To get that smoky jello flavor, you need to allow your rice to burn. So guys, my rice is ready. This rice has all the characteristics of a premium Nigerian party jello. So let me know in the comment section what you think of my method of making Nigerian jello rice. Please kindly press that subscribe button if you are yet to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up on this video so that more people get to see it. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell. You do not want to miss any of my amazing recipes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.